continuum is burning. A cure in the middle of a civil war. While we aren't completely certain how the event occurred, in 2387, a supernova ravaged Romulan territory, destroying both Romulus and Remus. A tragic, devastating, and cascading effect would result with the Romulan Star Empire crumbling and several factions vying for power. This would, of course, destabilize the region for quite some time. The scope and magnitude of the event will ultimately be determined by which bit of dialogue you want to listen to. Throughout the years, various characters have given differing accounts on the scope of the natural phenomena. Whether the supernova that destroyed the Romulans was the Hobus event that was ripping the Beta Quadrant to ribbons, ribbons, ha, ah. or localized to the system of Romulus and Remus and was specifically their star is up to your interpretation of events. However, what is certain is that the supernova caught the Romulans by surprise and they were ill-prepared. This meant millions of Romulans would die. The entire affair has always been an issue for fans as it makes little to no sense. Why were the Romulans unprepared for the tragedy? We know that generally stars give signs that they are about to go critical, which means the Romulans should have had time to prepare and evacuate. You combine that with the fact that the Romulans were still one of the few superpowers still left in the Alpha and Beta quadrants that could at least give the Federation a bad day, if not rival them in interstellar conflict, and it just gets silly. Or does it? Everything we see in the movies, as well as Star Trek Picard, leaves one to believe that this was an emergency that happened all of a sudden. The Romulans had no time to prepare for it. Hell, the evacuation was compared to Dunkirk, so how did this happen? Well, dear lore masters, perhaps the supernova's sudden explosion with no preparation wasn't an unexpected phenomena that just had the Romulans at the wrong place at the wrong time, but a completely preventable event had the gods not decided to go to war. There is one crisis that would tie all of this together and have it make sense. Shout out to subscriber EaterCost.exe for giving me this idea during a live stream. And you guys say I shouldn't do those. Anyway, as stated, the supernova event crippling the Romulan Star Empire makes little sense if you consider physics and the drastic amount of time they had. However, it is quite possible that the Romulan Star quickly well, relatively quickly, heated up and exploded with no rhyme or reason, possibly even giving signs that it was going to go nova in a longer amount of time and then just all of a sudden, exploding. We find the answers to this tragedy in Star Trek Voyager's Death Wish, as well as Voyager's The Q in the Grey. For those who haven't seen either episode in a while, in Death Wish, a Q wishes to commit suicide to see what it's like. The Q continuum objects, and Janeway is chosen to be the judge and arbiter. The godlike being is ultimately able to kill himself. This causes ripples and a divide within the Q continuum and ensures a civil war where the universe itself is paying the price due to the weapons utilized. The longer this war persists, the more innocent people pay the price. Price. The weapons of the Q are terrifying, after all. In The Q in the Grey, Voyager observes three supernovas within days of each other. A star going supernova is an event that occurs once every century in this galaxy. Now we're about to witness our third in less than three days. That's a really important factoid when you consider the supernova event that destroys Romulus occurs only a few years later. With that in mind, what if and hang with me here, the supernova was one of the final throws of the Q Civil War. While some might argue that the supernovas occurred within days that Voyager saw, remember, this is the Q Continuum and they are fighting all over it. We can't be sure that stars weren't going supernova throughout time. And again, it all really fits quite nicely. The Q engage in a civil war that is tearing the fabric of the universe apart. At some point, a weapon is utilized that causes either the Hobus star or the Romulan star itself to go nuclear. It's quite possible there is some lead up time that they have so that they can try to get away. However, even with the warning, it would take the resources of both the Federation and the Romulans to evacuate the planet. For whatever reason, either the Federation backing down or the star going nuclear before expected, it ravages the Romulan homeworld and possibly its fleet, which results in a very dystopian period of time for the Romulan people. Unlike other discussions and theories, I think this one fits kind of nicely. It explains everything. And it's kind of quick. It's bite-sized, which you guys love. But all of these are my opinions. What do you guys think? Does this hold any weight? Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next. Lore Reloaded.